Well, you may notice that it's drizzling rain at the moment, <clears throat> which it hasn't done in months. I appreciate it. By the way, I should mention something. If you look over here at my neighbor's yard, you should be able to see it there. Uh, you'll see it's all green and mine isn't. Well, there's a good reason. He's on well water, so all it takes is electricity to run his pumps. I'm on a water co-op, which is about, oh, I think about a thousand people up the canyon here who subscribe, and they got some wells and some uh, tanks, and they supply water, just like the regular water company. And <clears throat> it costs, oh, around 50 bucks a month to keep a place like this going. So the damned if I'm going to water the uh, yard. Out here it's watered for a very good reason. I have a, a sprinkler on my garden and uh, it uh, is very hard to control it. I don't have, uh, I only have one uh, outside faucet so I have uh, these valves on it so I can control water going every which way. You may notice a, a fork sitting in the uh, garden there. That's because I'm uh, in the process of digging up potatoes. It's uh, harvest season. <coughs> Damn moles. You'll notice uh, I'm tearing down that uh, laurel uh, bush uh, wall uh, next to my neighbors. It's hard work. I'm working on it. Why would I do that? Well, what you see there, you notice how tall those laurels are? That's about three years worth. About three years ago, I had a fellow come through and whack them all down. And, and I mean down to the ground. And this is what grew up in three years. And they encapsulate the entire backside of my yard. Uh, they need to be uh, taken out. and Otherwise, I've got a problem where it runs up against the road there and also, the neighbor on this side is getting tired of having my, my bushes uh, overhanging her yard. So uh, I'm working on cleaning them up. These ones here are completely infested with blackberries, so uh, I need to put on a long sleeve shirt, some uh, leather gloves, and go, go in there with a, a purpose and whack them. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, how things look in the last week of fall, I mean of September in the fall. And let me go over here to the other side of my yard. God, I still need to go and get some more firewood. I've got, I think I have plenty for the year, but I would like to get, oh, about another pickups load just to, just to fill out a little bit more in the, in the wood department. Beats the heck out of electric heat. I don't have gas here. I do have some uh, kerosene heaters and some propane heaters just in case. But mainly, I use wood as my uh, heating source in the winter time. This is my shop, you've seen that many times. But let me show you the back. That, by the way, is a plum tree. And uh, that's my uh, crazy Vietnam vet's uh, garden neighbor. And this is, uh, that's my junk pile of, of old metal things. Every now and then I come out and pick something up and say, yeah, that'll work and retrofit it to something else. And as you see, I have quite a bit of land. I'd like to put a storage container or two back here, put two of them and put a roof over it and make a, uh, a little uh, garage out here. I think that would look kind of nice and it'd be extra storage. Uh, that's on my to-do list. And I need to get some tarps to cover up the, this uh, saw and these tables for the winter. They were sitting in the shop, but uh, I rearranged. What I did is a cousin of mine gave me this stand here so I could put the buffer on it. So I moved this over here. And to do that, I needed this room over here, and there was a table sitting there, and there was a table sitting over here. So I pulled the table out, put this in. Another cousin gave me this uh, cool board here to put on top as a, to, because it's not a very secure top to this thing. That was actually more secure 
same material, same sort of uh, of thing, but that that's about 20 years older, and uh, they used a thicker gauge steel. We also built that table there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, this is where I spend most of my time, and uh, I won't bore you more with it today. So, this is the uh, the look of uh, Backwoods, Oregon, in 2022.